Hey folks, JD here. And firstly, sorry about the weird lighting. It's too light for me to, and too bright for me to open the, these blinds in front of me. And I can't open up the other blinds for the second, uh, quite simply because, well, they're broken. So, uh, I have to use artificial lights. So there may be some sort of shadow there. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, what was I going to talk about today? Yeah, that's it. Just a very, very small general chat for the second about RC cars. So I know some of you have, have subscribed to me over the past few years. We've been doing quadcopters, cars, 3D printing, loads of different stuff. I've got new, loads of new stuff to come to the channel over the next few months. And uh, pretty much I just wanted to address one thing that I've had a couple of comments about what's happened to the RC cars. Well... I did RC cars for about two and a half years out of the, so far, almost four years this channel has been going. And in order for me to buy an RC car, it has to talk to me in, in some particular way. It either has to be a new player on, on, on the game, which is taking the world by storm, or it has to be something which is just a little bit crazy. And uh, it has to generally just, just speak to me in a, in a sort of fashion. Well, as of the past six months since I bought the X Max, well, the X Max was at the beginning of the year, since the Typhoon and since a few others, nothing has really speak, spoken to me. It's been a lot of rehashing, load of different body styles on the same chassis. It, there's just been nothing on the market that I think to myself, well, I'm going to take a punt at that and see how good it is. So therefore, there's been no car on the channel but this week is a little bit of a slightly different week i have got two car videos this week both on the x max and there's a reason for that it's because my x max has gone to live with somebody new uh thank you dan very much i hope you're enjoying uh i've seen one or two videos that you've that you've sent me and i tell you what i think you are enjoying um it's a fantastic truck i, it, I didn't do it any uh any justice at all uh, or not much uh it needs a very wide open area it needs you somewhere to, to really welly it and I know you're going to exactly do that so that's fantastic. And what I've done is I've gone back through the archive of, 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 of my videos and I've dumped a load of them but there have been a, a few X Max ones in there that I haven't put live yet and these were recorded back in the summer so what I thought I would do is to kind of give it a final send off from me uh, and onto Dan I thought I would put up the last remaining videos I have on the X Max this week uh, um, and then uh, I'm still on the prowl for an RC car uh, but for the second nothing is literally jumping out at me so therefore there's going to be no new cars until one of the manufacturers decides to do something a little bit crazy or a little bit uh, different to it than everybody else so that's the reasoning behind that if you're all wondering I have explained it in a couple of other videos but I don't think a lot of people have seen those so therefore may not have seen this little segment so uh, therefore that's that's the explanation about it so therefore we've got a few new videos coming this week as well and it looks like the weather is sort of clearing and I might be able to get back out and fly as of this weekend coming fingers crossed I really hope so uh, because it's been a few weeks now and I'm starting to starting to get some sort of withdrawal symptoms of not flying so um, there we go folks I just want to give you a little sort of update on where we are with that just because a few of you have been commenting around where the cars are etc so there we go that's it um, there are going to be new ones but not for the foreseeable future not until the manufacturers decide to actually do something uh, about these these cars and just make them a little bit different and a little bit special Right then, my friends, I'm going to leave it there. Let's carry on and say goodbye to the X-Max. Hey, folks, JD here. And I'm not one for cheap batteries at all. I prefer to spend out and get the batteries that I, that I, that I want to use because I'll have a bit more confidence in those. Normally, I run these Overlander 4000 3Ss uh, in the X-Max. No issues at all. Great batteries, no puffing. Uh, just absolutely really good. Charging about from, well, from about 2% up to 100 in about an hour and 15 uh, on a standard balance charge. And they provide about 35 minutes of, of go to this huge monstrosity. Well, what I decided to do is I decided to take the plunge and get some cheaper set of batteries and do a couple of tests and see exactly how they perform. I know a load of people that have been using Florion and been using Florion for years and have not got a bad thing to say about them. Now, I've been, always been dubious. I always w w would want to play, pay a bit more for my cells. Uh, these, these came in at £20 for two. Yeah, that's right. £20 for two, 11.1, 3,000 milliamp hour, three S's. 
Uh, I'm very dubious, I've got to be honest. They charged in record time. They were 88% charged when I had them. Uh, so I, d I was going to totally discharge them and then recharge them. And I thought, no, 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 no. I'll just charge them up to 100, which took about an extra 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I think, from 88. And then from that, then, I'm just going to run them and see exactly how they go. Now, they're standard, um, they're standard Dean's T. So you shouldn't have any issues in plugging them into whatever truck or whatever quadcopter you want to. Now, let's plug that one in and fasten that down. Now, I am going to be adding... Because the, there's, there's a lot of give within these, I'm going to be adding uh, some Velcro to the underside of the X-Max just so that these batteries can sit in a bit more snugly than what they're currently doing uh, and that they will just hold themselves a little bit more as well. So let's just put those in, let's make sure all plugs are out the way, there we are, that's fastened in. Let's turn on the transmitter first, turn on the, the car, there we go, we've got steering. Batteries are ice cold. Well, not ice cold, but you know, cold. So what I'm going to do for the minute, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to do a couple of tests today. I'm going to just do one or two little bashing sessions over here. And then we're going to run her on the, on the grass and see exactly how she does. See whether we get the speed that we require out of her, which is 32 miles an hour for a standard 6S. Now, obviously, usually I run Usually I run 4,000 milliamp hour overlanders in 3S, so 6S total because of the two, two 3Ss. Today I'm running 6,000 milliamp hour, 3,000 milliamp hour each instead of 8,000. So let's see how we go. So far she's responding very well, very smooth, no problems with any jumps there. Seems to be good. If I pull the hammer back then she responds accordingly. I just want to see how these batteries do. Now I know one battery test isn't going to be enough. We're going to have to come back, revisit, do a few more tests with them. I'm going to have to do a couple of charge tests as well and a couple of discharges to get some proper cycles within the batteries before we actually start to see them being worked properly. But still, I, I like a cheap alternative. I, I don't usually like a cheap alternative for my for my cells, I'll be honest. Oh, there's my camera again. X Max, you just hate my goddamn camera. Uh, so yeah, I just wanna see exactly how we're gonna go with this. Now let's open her up a bit. Let's get a, a bit of speed with her and let's see exactly how she does. So this is, that was flat out. And again, no problem. No problem at all. Around we go. Now, what's been your experiences with Florian? Do you buy them? Do you not? Have you had a great experience? Have you not? I mean, there's so many different things people say about batteries. I know people that only buy cheap batteries and don't have any problem whatsoever. I've only bought expensive or, you know, sort of mid-range. And I've never had any problems uh, when it comes to LiPo. So far... We seem to be doing okay. This car seems to be holding its own and certainly giving me the power that I require when I require it. Oh, mine up for the tree, John. Yeah, there we are, John. Very good driving. Um, so yeah, there we go. I, 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 think, I think they're okay. You know, I'm not gonna give you a definitive review from today. I'm not gonna tell you, yeah, I recommend them or no, I don't. I'm just, they're responding as they should. They charged well, the first charge was okay. Um, so all in all, all in all, they're proven to, you know, to, well, just work. And that's good. I've had a couple of 3Ss in the past that, because um, this requires so much draw, that they puff up by the end of the, when I, when I take the, uh, when I take the lid off and I go to check the batteries, the amperage draw has been so colossal that they just cause the batteries to puff. So we'll see in a minute. Let's bring her around. Let's bring her around. Let's bring her around. Mind the damaged truck. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Serves you right for being damaged. Right then, let's see how those batteries are performing after a little bit. Still cold. Oh no. Kind of lukewarmish. Yeah, not puffed up though, which is good. Fan's still working properly on the uh, on the motor. So that's good. So let's give it a bit more punishment and then let's try again. Oh, 
Oh, that was a nice one. Yeah, so far, she's doing okay. You know, she's she's given us the speed that that I want, which is flat out. And after running this for a while, I'm used to seeing that such an increase in speed and knowing what that looks like. And we've got that. Right, let's bring her back. <clears throat> we've been running here now for about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour. Let's see how she does. Right then, let's open her up. Once again, batteries have moved, but they're not puffed. They're warmer, they're a lot warmer. But the batteries, but they're not puffed in any way. The ESC and the motor is still cool, so that's good. So, <clears throat> it doesn't look as if there's uh, any issues there. So, uh, that's good. So let's just take them around, take them around the track a bit, shall we? And let's see how she does. Around the wall, over this thing, what did I call her last time? Nessie, I think, wasn't it? So let's take her over Nessie again, and let's totally avoid that corner, and then bring her back. Yeah, responding really nicely. I mean, the worst case scenario is that the batteries don't work exactly as I want them to. So, um, you know, I'd send them back. But uh, they seem to certainly seem to be doing what I require, which is powering the truck. <laughs> I've also bought a couple of um, uh, Flurion with the XT60 connector for a couple of my FPV racers as well. So um, I think that would also be a good test as well to see, because again, likewise with the X-Max, the FPV racers require such a particular draw of voltage and draw of amperage that they do put batteries under a lot of strain this is why you see them puff up after maybe 40 50 charges i mean i had one that puffed up the other week on me and that was after 25 charges and it just decided to puff but that was uh, again what was that i think that was a that was a cheaper one as well but um yeah certainly seems to be doing very, very well. Oh, I love jumping this thing. This thing just never gets old. Around she comes. <laughs> Beautiful. And the other way. Not so much. <laughs> and the other way. Yeah, well done, Mr. X Max. So yeah, again, I think responding pretty well. As for battery time, what am I expecting? Well, I've still got full, full, oh God, I've still got full uh, power out of this after 15 minutes. So the other batteries lasted me 35, the Overlander 4,000 milliamp hour um, per battery. So I'm guessing this is gonna be roughly the same, maybe, maybe 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, instead of the full 35. But again, that's a fantastic amount of time for a run. Really, really is. And around the bowl. Oh, crap. There we go. And then back around again. Oh, do you know what? Just endless amounts of fun. Just brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. Oh, God. That went a bit wrong. <laughs> but yeah, once again. So far looking good. Right, okay, let's stop her and let's check those batteries again for puffiness. I don't think, because we haven't seen it within the first like 10 minutes, I don't think we are going to see it in this run. But still, I want to be sure. I want to check. I don't want to... Look at the state of this thing. I don't want to leave it. Not puffy at all, warm, very warm, which I would probably say that, let's turn this off. The draw being required for this is probably too much, or not too much, but just on par with what this battery can give probably. There's both of them after the runs, not puffed in any way, still looking good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there with these today. These are warm though. These are hand warm, 
not warm enough to burn but obviously warm enough to provide nice warmth in the winter if they're in your pockets which i don't recommend um but all in all i think we're going to be on to a bit of a winner here so we've got my standard overlanders that i use and now my new florion so i'm going to be putting this through the test a little bit more and i'm going to be trying the other florions on my fpv races as well and i'm making a few videos then letting you know exactly what i think but so far so far they're doing what they should but we'll see in time we'll see in time all right then my friends thanks ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends Happy racing. <laughs>